Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Space Engineers. I'm the Radio Man 3 and it's awesome to have you along. Looks like we have run out of nickel. Indeed it is. We're out of nickel. Uh, let's see. So if we go into our GPS and look up nickel. Let's see. We'll see here what we've got available to us up here in space. Uh, good morning, everybody. Hmm. Everything else seems to be pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and mark a few of these things so that we can go out and get them. Uh, I picked up a load of ice, so we're good to go there. Cobalt's good as well, but yeah, nickel is gone. Uh, I was just working on finishing up the last of our thruster compartments on this side and kind of ran out of the pieces parts that we need for it, but... Um, we can come back to that. Uh, anything else? Oh, something else I wanted to point out. Last episode, we had two of our staircases disappear. These two guys right here, this one and this one. And I put the lights in here to hopefully keep them secured, and they disappeared on me again, uh, where they just kind of vanished. Uh, nothing's falling or breaking. There's no parts on the floor or anything like that. But for some reason, they keep falling, and I'm wondering if maybe I need to add a block here on this side to kind of hold them up better. I'm not sure why they're vanishing, but again, like I said, I've not found parts down on the ground, so I'm not quite sure why these two staircases keep disappearing on me. So anyways, that's that's something right there. Uh, heavy armor. Oh, that's right. Okay, those are the conveyors. All right, so we need to go out and get some nickel. There's the iron 19.9. There's some silicon over there. Why do I have the silicon open up? I'm not quite sure why I clicked on the silicon. There's some nickel right there. So it's really close by. Let's go jump into the uh, tick. And we'll go got out, go out there and get a little bit of that, that stuff. And then we'll come back and we're going to work on getting the interior of the ship guts uh, taken care of. Before I do that, though, I'm going to check the tick's cargo. And it's got just the ice in the generator at the moment. So that's good. And let's go to cargo. Uh, good. Looks to me like uh, the tick is empty and ready to go. So two, three, uh, and then number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number one. So we'll start off with a little bit of this today, and then we will come back and work on the interior of our capital ship a little bit more. The Nessie. N-E-S-I is how I'm going to spell Nessie, and I'm going to come up with an acronym for that. You feel free to help with that if you'd like to. Come up with an acronym for Nessie. Not everybody sings in tune. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is the karaoke household over here that you're talking to right now, so I suppose that is the case. That's a good one. I like that. Not everyone sings in tune. Clever. Clever. Oh, God, is this the nickel asteroid that we flew up to before and I couldn't find the nickel on it because I didn't quite, uh, you know, mark it specifically as to where it was? I'm not sure. Could be. Could be. Possibly. I think we're okay, actually. I think it's right here. Maybe? There it is. I see it. I think I see it. Whew. Some tight quarters right here, huh? Looks like I came out here with my drill, my hand drill, to get to this. Natural exploration and scientific investigation. Something like that, maybe? Hmm. we got a little something coming in at uh, a little over 12 away from us here. Let's back away make sure I'm not going to be bumping into anything here. Instead of spelling Nessie like Nessie, like the Loch Ness Monster, I thought, you know, since she looks a little bit like Nessie, you know, a slight resemblance, a slight resemblance. There's no tail, there's no super long neck or anything like that, but, you know, it's there. And I thought if we put NESI along the side of the ship, that might look kind of cool, you know? And then we'll know what it stands for. I'm doing fantastic. It's Friday. I'm excited about Friday. Gonna have fun this weekend. Back at it on Monday. Oh, just real quick, um, Medieval Engineers has come to an end. Uh, they want me to not broadcast any more of the Community Edition. 
So we're not going to do it anymore. Them being the folks in charge of uh, taking care of the game. So that took care of that right off the wick. Halios, Caster Will, hello. Um, because it's under testing right now and it's not ready, I guess. I thought I was just playing Medieval Engineers and they had just tagged the Community Edition on there, but I was actually playing the Community Edition beta uh, and broadcasting the videos and they don't want them broadcast. They want me to sign, I signed a non-disclosure agreement, so I can't have those up on the channel or play that. So I went in and looked at the properties and sure enough, I am on the Community Edition as opposed to just Medieval Engineers. And when I pulled up just Medieval Engineers, it doesn't say Community Edition on it anymore. It's just the regular old medieval engineers. So, you know, that takes care of that. Don't want to get in trouble, so I'll just leave it alone. Uh, we're going to be actually zooming in on something that is red here. I saw it there for a second. Yeah, it does. Uh, I don't know why, Gold Dragon. Maybe because it's not finished and I'm running into issues with it and they don't want the issues out there to discourage anyone from getting it. I don't know. I don't know, but that's gonna be that's gonna be that. So it's okay because I kind of assume Rising World is coming pretty quick and a couple of other things are going to be coming as well. So, you know, you gotta kinda hold back on something anyway, so a series was going to come to an end at some point. Uh, other thing, uh, Austrieb ended uh, this week. We finished Austrieb by getting everything open and running, and the town seemed to be doing just great. So uh, I did pick up Farthest Frontier, so we'll be starting Farthest Frontier. Oh, now my power says I've got 18 days for the power. Now, why did the power go away? Never mind. Maybe it was there, and I just didn't notice it. New engineer ship implementation. Oh, that's a good one too, Kong dude. New engineer ship implementation. You guys are clever. I was laying in bed the other night thinking about that. It kept me up for a little while, like things do anymore. Not that that's a bad thing. <laughs> well, this is a nice big chunk of iron right here. It's easy to get disoriented up here. Do you guys find that when you play? I thought that was a bulge. I thought that iron was bulging outside of that asteroid, but it's actually an indentation. I've been here before, obviously. Sometimes it gets me. Novice engineer ship implementation. We're gonna make. I'm gonna make like three thousand of these guys right here. It's going to take a while, though, for that to happen because we've got to wait for this stuff to be um, put together. Or refined, I should say. Production over here. We're done with that right there, huh? So let's go ahead and get one, two, three, four, five. Another five of those going, too. We'll take what we can out of there. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I was just finishing this up and then we ran out of stuff. You know, the stuff that you need. Uh, it's the grids that I was running out of, I believe. Yeah, it is the grids. Do I still have stuff on my planner? I do. Let's see if I've got any of that in here that I could pick up. Yeah, the grids. I was out of grids, so I don't know if... I, I need to make sure it's making them. Yeah, it's not making those grids. Oh man, this could be nice. We're going to be done with this, except for the thrusters, of course. We've got the thrusters still that need to be uh, put together, but we'll work on those. I figure the thrusters will do them all at once and just get the... It's going to require so many parts. Okay, we've got that. You know what the other piece I forgot to put on here was our... Uh, this little guy right here. Nope. There we go. This guy. This little cross section that I wanted to put in here. I think I forgot it on most of them except for the very first one I did. Uh, got that. Okay, and oh, we've uh, 
I've got a few blocks in here that I've not finished up yet, it looks like, too. Um, Alright, let's do it. Let's do that. That. Yeah, these guys are already welded. That was the first one I did. Oh, God, that hurts. Ugh. That metal is so hard. <laughs> there we go. And just a couple more. Oh, there it is. There it is. Housing's completed. Just the thrusters are left in those, and then that'll be good to go. Oh, baby. I like that a lot. That's good stuff. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it was suggested that we take these out, these these thruster housings, and make them uh, a little bit longer. Maybe kind of curve it over a little bit or something like that. Kind of like a flipper type look to it. Uh, so that if we landed on a planet with it, it wouldn't keep rolling. But again, I'm, I'm not ever planning on going to a planet with this, uh, this ship. This is a capital ship for in space only. Only in space. Alright, let's go down and uh, get charged up. Take our ladders and get a feel for it. This is our sexy hallway that we got put together last episode, which I love it so much. It's so cool. And then we've got our uh, living area. We got our toilet. Mm hmm. We have our shower. Indeed. Cleanliness. Some lockers. Gun racks. Just a regular shelf. Cryo chamber. Uh, cargo. Survival kit. And our H2O2 gen. And a couple of batteries that are fully charged up here, too. And I believe the batteries we have down here in the main uh, cargo area is also um, set up and ready to go. Okay, I am back. Thanks for letting me step away for a second there. Now, I think we're ready to begin work on the cargo area down here. The stairs stayed. That's nice. We'll have to see if they continue to stay here. Again, these uh, top steps keep disappearing on me, so I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Now, so we've got our connector that leads outside the ship so that we can pull stuff in to the ship and into the cargo container. From what I understand is if I put the, I should probably have, I need to have a gap. Let's go control two. Is that, is that what I've got here? I've got the assembler and the refinery. Okay. The assembler and the refinery. How are the batteries doing over there? See the batteries over here too are all full now of juice. Isn't that cool? They're full. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should add, that's only five batteries currently on the ship. I'm thinking I should probably add at least a few more, right? Wouldn't you think? We are calling it Nessie. Jesus. It's, it is N-E-S-I. We were actually coming up with uh, acronyms for N-E-S-I uh, earlier in the chat in the stream today. So uh, feel free to come up with something. Uh, novice is the first word. Novice Exploration ship investigation or something like that. I'd have to go back and look up at the chat and see what it was, but uh, we've been using the coming up with uh, Nessie acronyms, N-E-S-I. We'll put that on the side of the ship on both sides so that it uh, says Nessie. Um, I need a buffer between the refinery and the assembler. Now, in our main base here... Oh, whoa, that was close. Almost smashed my forehead on that. In here, the problem I'm having is that once... I've done this wrong in here. I've got the assemblers. These assemblers are right next to the refineries. So the refineries are kind of dumping stuff into here. And it's filling these up. Where, from what I understand, there should be a buffer between the refinery and the assemblers. So I want one refinery and one assembler on the ship. I don't need a lot because we're not going to be doing a whole lot of building on the ship. But if we needed to process ores and... Uh, to make anything for the ship, we definitely want to be able to do it properly. Yep, down we go. Um, so, what is the recommendation? If I put a refinery right up against this cargo container, should I have a second cargo container on the other side of it? So, it, it, we've got everything funneling into this cargo container. The refinery pulls out of this cargo container and then sends to the second cargo container. And then after that second cargo container, it's piped to the assembler, so the assembler can take what it needs. Is that what I'm I'm hearing? Are you picking up what I'm laying down? <laughs> I know, right? It's so cool. 
Uh, and I really, really need to fix this pipe system too. I don't know that I like this pipe system. We could actually put this up against the wall much better with the square ones. I, I, I wish the square ones again had the pipes running through the middle because I do like the way they look. Um, what we could do is I could take these blocks out right now. These guys right here don't have to be here anymore. Uh, I'm going to put this in the small cargo container for now. There we go. So I could, let's go back and let's go to number, which one do I have those on? I got them on this guy right here. Place, uh, refinery, ask first, then pipe to them. Okay, let's see if I understand that. Uh, I need a T, what do I need? I need a curve, number five. Let's replace these with these guys right here first. I want these up on my wall. I, I don't particularly care for the way they look, but at the same time, they're, they're growing on me a little bit. They are growing on me. As long as I can see what's going on with them, I like, I like how they look. Let's get those welded together. Now, really, what I should do maybe here is a T-junction. What is beyond... What's... I'm sorry, I'm going to drill this one down again. Is this outside? That is the great outdoors right there. I was thinking we could take it outside, possibly, and come back in through the sidewall over there, but I guess the pipe is actually running... Never mind. Never mind. We'll find a way to do that without that. Uh, so, back to the curve. Like that. And then I need a straight not to curve up and go over that way with it. So let's go ahead and do... Like that. And then we'll come with number five and we're going to curve it out. It's so hard to tell which way this is going. I guess what I want to do is turn it this way. Is there any way I can have that? There we go. I'm trying to decide which way I like it the best so I can actually see the pipe in there. Because the pipe adds to the whole look of the ship, if you ask me. So if I do... I don't think I'm going to be able to see it, period, am I? Yeah, it's going to be just like that. Okay, so no big deal. We'll just go like that, and then we're going to bring it back out this way. Uh, that should be the... Ex this, I think, is the exterior of the ship right there. And I, yeah, we're going to go that route. Actually, you know what? This is going to go down. That's going to come down, and then we're going to go over to that way. And again, we're going to curve it over this way. I guess I could do that T-junction there if I wanted to. These are a little more expensive, huh? So why... Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, and that should be the last one, right? And then it should turn green. Why aren't these turning green? Uh, probably because this isn't sitting in here, right? That's one reason. Oh, 
what am I doing? <laughs> this should be a four. Never mind. He's got it. He's got it. Don't worry. Yep. It's safe to go to space with me. There we go. Now we've got a green line all the way through, so we are connected. Very good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and swap this pipe out for the uh, T-junction and the square block as well. Let's do that too. Uh, number six. Oh, okay. That's a conveyor. I can't reach in the conveyor junction, uh, but I can get in here. I have the empty, and let's grab a hundred of those guys right there. There we go. So, back to number six. There we go. Pop, just like that. All right, beautiful. All right, so now we're feeding back up here again, right? Everything should be working up here as well. Let's make sure we're, we're, we've got our power going on. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's just faster to get the cryo real fast here. Sam on Twitch, hello. Don't connect them directly to each other. Use conveyors, says Elminster. Use conveyors in between each of the items. Okay, so okay, so let me see. Uh, just so I get I get this right, because yeah, I don't want to have the same problem that I've got going on inside. So if I go and put in, uh, we've got the conveyors right here. I put a conveyor here, right? And then I would put, uh, let's go to where our refineries are. Number seven, is that the refinery? That is the assembler. We need the refinery. And let's go ahead and stand that bad boy up. There we go. And I've I've got the room for the, we want to make sure I can put the, uh, whatchamacallits on there. There we go. That's 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 definitive, isn't it? The, the whatchamacallits. The, uh, the modules. The modules. So if I do that right there, uh, we want that actually to spin around one more time. Where are my ports? I've got a port back here. So if I do this, um, let's go... If I put him right here, I could put a pipe here connecting from here to here, correct? From here down to here. Or I could put the pipe up here and have it come down this way, of course, either way. We do that right there. Okay, so now it's pulling from the cargo container into the refinery. And then from the refinery, our port is right there, right? So then I would do, say, another conveyor. That's a battery. That's not going to help us at all. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, oh, there it is, number seven. And then I put you right here. And then I could put my assembler... I want to make sure I can put those modules on here. Put my assembler right there. Is is that the suggested, uh, the recommendation? Uh, we've got some of the modules on our base, uh, uh, the asteroid base, for the sole fact that when we first got here, uh, we weren't sure how many solar panels we were going to need. So I put them on there, especially the... Um, not that We've got speed, mo speed modules on there, and we have the... Um, efficiency modules put on there i would think the efficiency modules would be the best thing to put on these guys 16.63 i saw that red uh 16 or the uh efficiency modules would be the best yes but you need an alternate route use the conveyors you added to create it an alternate route a place uh, so we can feed it back in here. Is that what you're saying? So the stuff can feed back into the cargo container. So maybe come out of. Um, okay, let's go control two, three. Yeah, but the industrial one has the ladder on it. And I don't like the ladder because it doesn't go anywhere. So I don't tend to use that one when it comes to the industrial assembler. So if I use like a number five here and I take and put this here. I got the modules coming over here, so it might be best to take it up. A different direction than this even what if I did a four here 
the top you just updated basically each device needs its own feed from the conveyor network okay 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 thank you that helps okay that helps gotcha okay so if i come off of here i can't jump up there i'm gonna have to float if i come off of here bring it over and drop it down into here that would be beneficial that's what you're telling me right now so i take this guy out of here and i put a t-junction in here pop it up like that I could feed off of this and go right down into the assembler. Let me uh, let me um, go ahead and put that together. Actually, okay, we're gonna need a few more pieces, parts here. Uh, let's do a hundred. Let's do a couple hundred of those and. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a few of everything going here because we're kind of running low on stuff. I'll do 50 girders. That's 60, but who's counting? <laughs> and let's do a couple hundred of those as well. There we go. All right, so let's do that. And nope, that's the wrong thing. Dang it. Computers. So I need far more computers than that. Let's do another 100 computers and we will move. Missing items. Silicon wafer. We just got silicon. It's going to be coming. There's silicon. We picked up silicon today. Uh, maybe I should put the silicon over here. Let's drop that in there. Let's get some silicon going too. There we go. That should work. And then I'll get the nickel going as well. Okay, so that's working in... That's in the works. And we should be producing now. There it goes. There come, Here come the computers. Nice. Four more. Forty more. Okay, am I good with that right there? I could put a module here. Oh, see, I'm, I'm losing space for the modules. I should probably put this on the end over here. Does this have... It's got ports at the top and the bottom, right? It does. Hmm... Assembler is too close to other gear. Okay, so I've got room in my inventory now for the pieces and parts on this thing. I'm thinking that maybe I put the assembler right next to this here. So I've got room for all of my... If I do that, then I've got space for my modules on here the thing is when i put once i put a module on the side of this uh it's going to block my stairs but i could move my stairs going down here uh in a different location Yes, that conveyor junction can go now, too. This guy doesn't have to be here anymore. Just run a pipe from here to here. Yeah, this is what I need to help with today for sure, is to figure out how to do get these guys hooked up. You don't need it. Uh, pipe from top of assembler to conveyor network. Ah, okay. Oh, this doesn't have to pipe into this at all. Into the refinery. This should just go into the conveyor system above.
Okay, so I'm going from here into the top of this right here. And this isn't going to connect to this at all because this is going to connect uh, directly to the conveyor system as well. Or this could connect to the cargo container, correct? But it already is because we got the conveyor box here. So if I take, oh, so I don't need to really do any piping to this at all anymore because it's piped right to the cargo container. I'm, I'm thinking this is what you guys are telling me. So let's go ahead and put this together here too. And we can, we can move these around. Let me get them put together so I can see what they look like because I always forget where the ports are and all that stuff. It's just, you know, it's one of those things. So if I do this, I don't want this right up against that though. What if I were to put this up on a block, one block up? If I put this up one block higher, so let's say I go, uh, let's let's say I put, this doesn't have to, we don't have to worry about those uh, heavy blocks anymore. Let's go to G real quick. I'm going to get rid of the uh, industrial blocks here and go ahead and switch to the uh, lighter weight blocks. If I put, just for instance, just to, just, what happened there? Energy low. Don't bug me, lady. I'm working here. Uh, we get you, 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 and you. All right, let's go, let's go get charged up real quick. Dun, 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 dun. I really need you guys' help with this because I want to make sure I get this right because I know it's not right in the asteroid base. So bear with me. Bear with me. I know it's a pain in the butt to try to type this stuff out to help me out, but uh, I really do appreciate it. Put junction and small cargo there. You get spacers and cargo access that way. Okay, that's oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's uh, okay. Let's go back out. Zip. I'm just excited that my stairs are still here. Okay, so a small cargo, huh? Control. Where do we have that small cargo container at? Three, four. I don't have it anywhere on here. Okay, let's go back to G. And I'm going to keep that block there so I don't forget about it. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And I'm going to get a small cargo. We'll do that. So if I put this guy right here. Jeez, come on now. There we go. A small cargo container there. Then I could put this on top of that. Have room. And run a pipe to it. Maybe I should have this all set up on the same place in the hot bar. So let's go uh, assembler. Bake the, the assembler. And then we need, just in case I have to remove the refinery as well, which is already processing stuff. I believe it is anyways. It sounds like it is. So uh, the assembler. I'm thinking the assembler is going to go right here. That way I can reach it. I could also, oh, you know what I could do right here if we do this. Okay, so I like the idea of it being up there because now I've got room for my uh, my modules. Do I have it on both sides? I don't. So if I spin it, now I could put modules on both sides of that, and that's going to look really sexy down here with those green lights in here. So, okay, so I do this. So maybe this staircase here, instead of it coming down at this angle, what I do is I bring it over this way straight across with a catwalk across here and a staircase coming down going that way and a staircase going down that way. And then when we walk across here, what was that? It must be far enough away that's not going to cause us any problems, huh? Modules go on all four sides. Yeah, they do. Hmm. So maybe I should put a pipe here, put the small cargo here, and put the assembler on top of that, and then I can put the modules on it there. What do you think of that? Space it out. Okay, space it out a little bit. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and do... We'll do this, 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 the curve. 
No, 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 no. We don't want to do the curve. We want to go with the number four, I think, instead. We want to bring this out from the refinery by one. And then we're going to do that cargo container. Where did I put that? Nope, two. There we go. Then the cargo container here. And then we can put the assembler up on top of that. And which way am I going to put this guy? So there's all the, yeah, you're right. They're all the way around, aren't they? I noticed one side only has the one hole though to it. So it's not, you're only getting half of the, half the functionality of a uh, module on there, correct? So I do this, now I've got space for my modules on the sides, all sides. We've got a bit of cargo space down below here. We've got a pipe funneling it. It's spaced out from the refinery so it's not just crammed up against it. Just worse is, no, Sam on Twitch says no. <laughs> some of you are saying yes, some of you are saying no. It looks like everyone's got kind of a different priority as to how they do it. And then I run my stairs over to it, and I've got a platform so I can reach all that stuff. Right, small port accepts module, big port accepts right. If I go to four, I have a large port on the bottom of this thing that should pull from this cargo container, and then I've got room all the way around it for any modules I want to put on there. Okay. Uh, do I have the pieces, parts for this? Let's try this out. Okay, we got that. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this guy again. Come up here and get the parts. It's all based on, you know, I, I, I guess it's preference, right? I'm just working for functionality because sometimes my assemblers inside the base, what happens is, is they get full of ores and then I ask it to make something and it's like, well, I'd make that for you, but I'm full of stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a pipe from the top of this. And assembler side ports, side big ports have small ports as well. I don't see any small ports on here. I see I see the uh, module ports on here, but I don't see anything else on the assembler that's a small port. And over here, I'm going to take this out of here. Now, this configuration uh, may change uh, in time. This is why we're working on it today. This is perfect. Thank you for helping me out with this. If we do that there... Then I can put the four back in here. I'm going to spin that around again so I can see the pipes because they look awesome. Do that. And then I'm going to, I think, what do you think? If I run off of that with the round ones, do you think that's going to look weird? I don't, I do have the round ones here. So let's go. This could be a good place for us to use the round ones and, and put them in. So we get a little bit of round pipe action here. Like that. So this is separate. Or do I want to put a four banger up here? I put a four banger up here and then I can run the... Do I want to run the pipe from here up and then over to the top and into this? Or no, because I've got the conveyor down here, so I don't need to do that. Or can I pull that conveyor out altogether and put just the piping across the top? That gives me a bit of a hallway to get through in here.
Is that a conveyor block right there? Or did I just put a solid block in here? That's the pipe, huh? That's the pipe. Okay. Well, if I've got a pipe down here, I don't need it piped in up there, do I? Uh, I guess I've got exit, entrance, exit. i got two ways in, two ways out of this now. Okay, this should stop the blockages. Okay, yeah, because we don't want blockages, man. It's just uncomfortable, right? It's just uncomfortable. So, if I'm going to do that, it it makes sense that maybe I would put a T-junction here. If I put a T-junction here, Well, I don't... No, 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 no. Uh-uh. I was like I could run this over the top and into the um, refinery, and then from the refinery run it over into uh, the cargo container. But the cargo container is already hooked up. We don't need that. So I really just need that curve here, huh? I'm overthinking it now, I think. I think, I think. I don't know how those round pipes are going to look. Remember, I'm about the looks, too, so... Need more construction components. Yeah, I want to keep all this down here because, again, we are going to put a wall after this doorway. We're going to leave a block open and we're going to put a wall right here across this uh, with an access to get back into this hangar area here where we're going to put our small, uh, small ship for just going down and, you know, checking out planets. Oh, the O2H2 generator. Thank you. That's what we were looking at last episode too, right? Yes, 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 yes. I was thinking about putting that in here. So there's that small. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Um, O2. Energy low. Look, lady, I'm busy. Right, let's just uh, let's go get let's go get juiced up. Dangerous to do in a war vessel, but should be okay. This is not a war vessel. This is simply... Hey, Deegan. No worries. Deegan Graves, welcome. It's not a, supposed to be a war vessel. I will be avoiding all fights at all costs. It's not a war vessel. This is a this is an exploration vessel. This is a vessel that's going to take radio to, to, to worlds where he's never been before. And uh, for exploration and that sort of thing. So, let's go X. I, I don't want to do the... I'd rather not do the giant hydrogen tanks, but if I take that out and that out, um, I could put this number nine in between here, huh? That could look pretty sexy, too. And if I put it on this side, I'm just thinking if I do some catwalk action underneath here, uh, I should be able to reach up and hit that control panel there in the bottom left corner to be able to uh, activate that. A lot of computers already, huh? Make another hundred computers. There we go. Do that right there. Okay, and then I needed uh, the pieces parts for this guy right here. That looks kind of cool up there. I like that. Okay, that's neat. How does it look when we come in here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we'll paint we'll paint this stuff too. Don't don't worry about that. I'm gonna take you out of here. Oh, I can't do that right there. Well, what are you feeding into? You're not even feeding into anything. Oh yeah, you are. You're feeding right into that. Um, okay, so I'm not taking that out. Uh, what if I do this guy here instead? Which is a nice reminder that there is something going on right there, and I shouldn't be messing with that. 
it also gives me a little bit more headroom as I come through here. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? And what was this guy here? This is also a curve, huh? So if I do a six here too, I get to have my cake and eat it too because I get to have some round pipage and some square pipage in here. So that looks pretty sweet. Matter of fact, I'm thinking I'll get rid of this one as well and do the number five in here. And that opens up a little more headroom even more and does give us a little bit of pipe action in here, which is cool. We'll leave that square junction up there, but now we've got a little bit of pipe action showing. And I like the pipes. They're really sexy. I think they're pretty cool. All right, so we do that. Um... I could even double up that H2O2 gen, huh? If I wanted to. If we needed to add more, we could add more down the road. I mean, we've got one here. We've got two now on the ship, right? We've got that one, and we've got the H2O2 gen down here as well for our O2 bottles. Which, by the way, I should probably fill up. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay, this is really good. Okay, so thank you for the help on this one. This is very important to me. Very important. I don't like the fact that this conveyor is uh, conky wampus on here, though. I wonder if I should use a small cargo container between here. Nah, we'll, we'll go with the conveyor. There we go. We've got a conveyor box right there okay and then modules are gonna go around this thing if I take you out of here now we're gonna do a little bit of decorative stuff yeah we got time we got like 15 minutes left in the stream so let's try to figure this out let's go back to troll one two let's go to two yeah and go to G we're gonna get rid of all you guys right here and let's go to uh, the catwalks. I'll grab this guy right here, and then we want... What is this? Steel catwalk corner. Oh, this is a steel catwalk. I haven't even noticed these guys yet. Let's try those out. Uh, and then, is that a mod? And then stairs. We need the stairs. Uh, we'll grab that guy right there. Number five. This is interesting. Oh, this is very interesting. Hmm. I don't know that I like those better than the see-through ones, though. I think I like these, uh... I like these guys the best, so far. And... Again, there's nothing for it to attach to up there. Which is always a bummer, but I, I bet it will attach to the side of this guy right here, won't it? It will attach to that right there. Okay, so good. Good, good, good. We are going to need the double double sided one. No, we need just the single sided. And he went the wrong way. Okay, so if I do that and spin it this way, I can put you there. Um I don't necessarily I want the I want to have my, my stairs here. If I go with this here. No. This is where I can do the double. There. We do a double here. I come down the stairs. I step off onto that. So if I do a staircase here, and you are upside down, a staircase right here, and a staircase right here, I can access that down there, and I go back to number four. I can put you here, and I can put you... You can go... Yep! There we go. Perfect. And you can go... No, that would be the wrong place to put that one. That's the wrong one altogether. And again, he went the wrong way. It's what you do. We put you here, and I screwed up this staircase as well. Yep, you're the wrong one. Get out of there. And do I need a number four? Yep, there we go. And we'll put you right there. Oh. He 
use what pieces parts I've got in my inventory. We'll just use up what we can. All right. Build planner's full. Right. Gotcha. All right. So let's get rid of all this stuff here. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oop. There we go. I think I got all that stuff. I don't think I did. Oh man, that's not going to work. Now that I've done this. Yeah, the module. Well, what I can do is I can move all this over to above the... Um, okay, sorry guys. Yeah. I can move this all over to here. Do that. Spin, nope. Spin that around. Coming up with the configuration here. Give me a second. I put my stairs here instead, going this way. Now I come down off these stairs, I hit this stair, and I go down. Because we talked about using the hallway blocks down here as well. I'm not interfering with any module slots here, but I am probably... Well, I'm impacting this one here, though. Doggone it. Energy low. Put the modules in? Yeah, I probably should get the modules put in. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Then I know exactly what I'm dealing with. Good idea. All right, let's go, G. Now, in here, I'm going to go with just efficiency. I don't care about the speed modules at all. I'm going efficiency only. Those are, I think, the most important for this. So we put an efficiency one there, and we can put an efficiency one. Well, I've got that piece of whatchamacallit in here, huh? And then I can do an efficiency here. That's double efficiency. And then the refinery, also efficiency, right? I don't need all of it, though. I don't want all of them. I guess it would... Is it worth doing all of them? It would be worth to do all four of these? Is it going to give me that big of a benefit, or would I be good with just two of them, you think? Oh, refineries get the yield modules, huh? All right, yield ones. Efficiency doesn't matter on this at all, then? It would cut back on power, right? Power usage, and then... Um, uh, not efficiency. What was it? Uh, you just It's just re refining. Yield. The yield module. Ooh, I don't think I've put that on anything yet. That's pretty cool looking. So I could spin those. Or I could leave these guys just like this. So what about a configuration like that where we have two of the yield and two of the efficiency? That way it's using less power off the ship. And yield gives me more juice out of uh, everything it's taking stuff out of. I want efficiency on here because I don't want to worry about power constantly on the ship. 
And I'm not worried about saving time because I'm the kind of guy who says, okay, go ahead and make stuff and then I'll come back to you later. I'll go find something else to do. So that doesn't really bother me. Power cells, huh? There we go. Make a couple hundred more of those. We're gonna need them anyways. Need them from over here too. Power cells and motors. Uh, motors, let's make a uh, hundred of those. We'll get those guys going too. Matter of fact, let's... Uh, I think those guys crank out a little bit faster too. Superconductors. Okay, that's the other thing I need to do is with the superconductors. Okay. Superconductors. Uh, superconductors. Let's do... What do you think? A hundred of those, maybe? Get those guys going? Gold. It should be able to... Yeah, it's going to pull the gold from the base. I thought so. Okay, good deal. Okay, we got our efficiency modules up and running on there, and there, and there. Very good. Well, it's starting to look like a spaceship back here, huh? Awesome. Thank you again for the help today. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're waiting on those superconductors, huh? What else? Just the superconductors? Okay, let's move those up in the in the list. I know I'm coming all the way over here, and I don't need to be coming all the way over here to get this stuff, but for Pete's sake, it's just how I think. <laughs> I gotta come back to this source every time, it seems like. Okay, now that that is on there... I guess I could do my walkways like this. Um, where we just kind of end here. As a matter of fact, I can put stairs here and here so we go down either side to get down below. What am I going to do with these... Um... Where'd they go? I'll tell you, man. Where are those um, passage blocks? Right there. These guys here. I'm wanting to use these guys. Down in here. I wish to just set it up straight so I could see it. I guess we could use something like this in here. And we could actually turn, I think, this around and make them uh, like a double wide. Double wide passageway through here. You know, we could do that. We'd have a double wide passageway going along in here. The conveyor junction between the cargo and refinery isn't connected. Oh, you're right, it isn't. <laughs> okay. You are right about that. When you're right, you're right. Uh, let's see. I've got those pipes here somewhere. Number six. There we go. I should not be able to walk through there, huh? Thank you. Okay, so we have what we need here. Let me uh, let me click on that. Uh, X. Let's do this. We'll come back down here. All right, there we go. We got yield and efficiency on stuff. 
Now I could put another, if I could put something else up here on the assembler, but I feel like I'm good with this right here. I feel like that's going to be substantial enough for me to get me by. The hallway blocks are going to be interesting to come up with and how I'm going to work those. I don't know that I really need them down here, but it would be kind of cool to have them down here. I could even put them up higher and make this a much taller hallway as well. Now I'm trying to think about, okay, how am I going to work this? If I come to the bottom of the stairs, I could turn and simply walk straight down a pair of stairs underneath right here. But then that's going to reach out and actually hit, I think. Well, if I do that, I've got a block there at the bottom of the steps to where I'm a block away from that. So that takes that's a stair block right there, if it was a staircase. Come down and turn and go this way. Turn, go this way, and then drop off down into this lower cargo area here. Either side. really don't need both sides of this even set up this way. It just looks nice that way. That's the only reason I did that. This conveyor is not connected? Is that what you're... This conveyor is not connected still? Oh, I see. You're correcting your spelling. Sorry. I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> That's funny because you just spelled it wrong, but I read it conveyor. Tricks to the eyes. Um, this is good. We've, we've gotten quite a bit done back here. Thank you for all this help on this today. This looks great. I love this. I don't think I'm going to change it at all. I just need to configure my catwalks and my stairs. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Maybe that's something we could work on in the next one. And then here we are going to do uh, the interior. Oh, that's right. Somebody mentioned the interior blocks. I'm going to take all this stuff off of here. I need to go through my different uh, control settings here and decide what it is I'm going to do with these. Number two, that's the catwalks. Don't want that. Don't need that. Don't need... And I'll keep... Well, we'll keep that on there. And then it was... Um, Interior, right? There's interior wall, interior sci-fi, in sci-fi interior wall, and then there's this wall. I'm going to put these up before we end our stream today to see what we think of these. We got a lot done. I'm really shocked, actually. I'm not really good at this. Uh, let's do that. We'll try that one. That was number seven, or was that number five? That was number seven. Oh man, so it's going to be a mix match of these guys together. Let's go take a let's take a look at these guys. These look awesome. Energy low. Leave me alone, lady. Does it actually give off light? Can I adjust that light right there or is that it? It's just a decorative looking thing. Cuz these hall lights here, these guys actually come on, which is pretty sweet. They're just, okay, this is for immersion, huh? All right. And that, I can't put any, okay. I can put lights on them, but I can't put lights, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Because I've, I've talked about this wall in between here and the, uh, the, the bay where we're going to park our, our small grid, uh, Planet Lander. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. I don't I like the fact that they're just decorative. I mean, if it's dark in there, you're not going to see any of it anyways. You know? I mean, I, I understand the draw to that. If they do look nice, that looks pretty cool. But it's so dark that, you know, it would be... It would be it would not be very enjoyable to watch me play in something like that with it being as dark as it is. Where if I go with... Somehow work out, and I'll think about this. These guys here are just so cool because you get the you get the bonus of the light in there. You know, there is an actual light in there. So I turn this off. We've got passageways that we can walk through. And 
they're lit up. They keep paths visible despite not being on in case you lose power. Okay, I could see that. Okay, I could see that. That's understandable. All right. Okay. I guess what I could do is have a couple of those along the way. If this were to sit, say, right here. If that was here and this was right here, how does that look next to each other? Then I guess if this light were to go out, we would at least have a little bit of this going on to kind of guide our paths. But then again, I've got my own light. You can see the light source, but they don't illuminate anything. Yeah. It's just one. I, I mean, look, it's, if I get back here and watching this, because, you know, I'll edit this right after I'm done and put it on YouTube. If I'm back here, the only thing you're seeing is that light down there. It's pitch black in here. And I don't know that that's going to make much of a difference um, posting. If it was just me playing by myself, then, you know, no big deal. But I've got, I got to think about all of you guys out there, too. I want you to be able to see what's going on. That's very important. Nevertheless, the main thing we talk about here is we've got options, right? So you think about it, I'll think about it, and uh, we'll resume working on uh, Nessie in the next episode. But we've got a bunch of work done today. I'm really happy with how much work we got done. I guess that block also pulls power from the ship too, I would think, right? Because it's got the light on it. We've got all of our thruster housings done on the ship. We just need the thrusters now built. Uh, Nessie's coming along real nice, and we've got our... The cockpit needs a little more, you know, TLC on the inside of it. But then we've got our living quarters down here in the neck. And then down here in the cargo containers, the cargo bay, we've got that going on as well, which is pretty nice. Pretty soon, uh, I'll be working towards getting the, the um, thrusters put together here. So we can actually dock her properly to the side of the ship. Yeah, this turned out cool. Again, thank you so much for your help. I'll probably use some of these uh, in different locations, like right here. I'll put one there and probably put one right there so that they're, you know, look like they're really attached to that so that we've got a little extra uh, function going on here. The green paint job, I think, you know what? I think I am going to go green. Let's, let's take a look at that real quick, too. I was thinking green because we do have, that is kind of our, our theme at the very beginning, was this green and this kind of dirty yellow going on uh, with our very first ship that actually brought us up here into space. So, uh, you know what? I wonder if this ship would work. We could probably put this ship inside Nessie and use this ship. This one actually brought us up here and it's taken us back to the planet. Well, no, we've, we've got a different ship down on the planet. I forgot about that. We actually have a ship on the planet still sitting there. Uh, but this one worked, uh, but it need it would need to be reconfigured because there was no access anywhere on it to get to it other than maybe the um, the connector. So I would rework. I want a ship about this size right here, maybe a little bit bigger. But if you look at her, um, she would fit uh, through this back hatch of Nessie. She would fit in the back hatch there easily, fly right in there, nice and easy like. And all kinds of stuff flying around out here. So a ship like that will go inside here and we will dock inside here and then be able to plug in to something that's feeding off of that cargo container or maybe even feeding off of this upper pipe here. We'll come over and we'll have a connector that we will fly into and attach to. Uh, and then she'll sit back here. So when we do get to the other planets or asteroids we need to go get materials off of, we could just kind of back her out the butt and then... <laughs> back her out and and do what we need to do and then come back in yeah all right thank you so much everybody for being here i want you to have an awesome awesome weekend i'm planning on having one too we'll talk about it next week uh, i'll get my uh, the steam uh, or the twitch i'm sorry the twitch schedule posted here probably sometime sunday but space engineers should probably resume i'm thinking monday morning we'll do this and uh we'll we'll get back into it again 
But if you can, join me this afternoon, 1 to 3 Arizona time. We'll be playing Valheim. We found a frost cave last episode, and we are gathering stuff we need there to make some uh, interesting items for our great haul on that game. So, like, comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day, and I look forward to talking to you again next time.